We've come from four continents, many countries, many states. Many of us have been to Pitcairn, and those who haven't want to go to Pitcairn. Our speakers were wonderful. We thank you. You are an inspiration, and we're so grateful for your participation. You are truly an inspiration for everyone, and your studies have enriched us all. We've laughed, we've cried. Yes, it's a trite statement, but we have. We've laughed and we've cried. We've been entertained by the most beautiful facility in Northern California. We have been the guests of Pacific Union College. Uh, we have been the guests of Herb Ford, director of the Pitcairn Island Study Center. How lucky we are, and we are so grateful for that. I would like to call on Herb for a moment. He wants to say a few words on behalf of the college. And um, Herb, please come and talk to us. Thank you, Barbara. Our thanks to you for coming again. Uh, we're so pleased that you could come here. And uh, we've, we've made a few friends. I hope we have not disappointed too much. And uh, I want to say just a word of thanks to uh, people who have really helped uh, greatly in this matter. First of all, my colleague Gilbert Abella. He has done a wonderful thing. And uh, I had a friend from the community, um, Dwayne Cronk who uh, provided us transportation as a volunteer for folk coming here, and we, we thank Duane. Um, Doug Ermshar has helped us greatly. He's been our ex-checker at our sales uh, operation out here. And then we had two, two students from the college who have really been hel helping us greatly. Uh, one is Fallon Davis, beautiful young lady, and uh, Eric, uh, pardon me, Irwin, and I won't try to pronounce Irwin's name because he has 17 letters in it, and it, it eludes me. But these uh, folk have been greatly uh, helping throughout this whole conference. And again, we thank you for coming. We wish you safe speed, safe, <laughs> safe uh, travel, and uh, a speedy way home, too. Thank you again so much. Well, this, com this conference has been a, the culmination of a dream. When Ted became president of the Pitcairn Island Study Group, he had two goals. And the one with the highest priority was to organize this conference for you, for all of us who love Pitcairn, who love the Bounty Saga, and uh, with the extraordinary help he had, uh, it's just turned out beautifully, I think. Ted, please come and say a few words to us. I had an idea to, to uh, create this conference about 16 months ago, and it's really hard to take too much credit because really this has equaled and more than equaled the sum of its parts and it's thanks to the speakers and the volunteers and everyone else who's made this, I hope, the success that it was. I can't say enough about my colleague Herb with whom I've been working for the last six months, 16 months, sorry. If you could see the volume of email between us, you'd think we were going together or something. Many, many times every day, work out the little details. This, this, uh, this whole shebang could not have happened without Herb. Now, the Pitcairn Island Study Group has an award that it gives on occasion, the Bounty Anchor Award. And this award was started in uh, 2001. And uh, it's been given to seven uh, worthy recipients so far. And the eighth recipient, I'm happy to say, is my colleague Herb Ford. I'd like to give the award to Herb now. Very much deserved. Thank you. 
The award is a piece of crystal manufactured in Cairo, of all places. How can we possibly end a Bounty Pitcairn conference without the sweet by and by? Will the Pitcairners please come and lead us in it? Guitars, whatever you have, please. It will be the cherry and the topping on the cake. a minute while Marie, oh here she is.
Thank you all for coming. Safe travels home. And let's meet the next time at the next Bounty Pitcorn Conference.